Hi children, this is Mrs. Merchant and today we'll be doing an investigation about streamlined shapes. Now you remember last week that we had done an investigation about boats. We had made different streamlined boats and we had gone to the pond to investigate about streamlined shapes. Now today we are going to do another investigation to explore about streamlined shapes. Okay. Now according to the investigation, you need to weigh three equal pieces of Play-Doh. Okay, so I've got my three pieces of Play-Doh. Okay, now what I've done is I've molded each piece into three different shapes. Okay, so the first piece I've molded it into a sphere. The second piece I've molded it into a cube and the third piece I've molded it into a cone. Okay, next. Now I've got a jug of water, okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop each shape into the water and I'm going to use a stopwatch to time how long it takes for each shape to fall through the water, okay. So now which shape do you think is going to fall the fastest and which shape is going to fall the slowest, okay. So. Let's start with the first shape, okay? Now, I'm going to first start with the uh, with the sphere, okay? So I've got my stopwatch here and I'm going to drop my sphere, okay? One, two, sorry, and three. So this actually took me about, uh, it took me about two seconds and 30 milliseconds okay so the uh, the cube uh, sorry the sphere took me about two seconds and 30 milliseconds okay next I'm going to drop my my cube okay so the next one is the cube okay now I'm going to restart my timer again okay so that's my cube and I'm going to restart my timer Okay, now this time the cube actually took me about 3 seconds and 20 milliseconds. Okay, and my final shape is my cone. Okay, now when I drop my cone, remember that you need to drop it with the tapering end down. Okay, so you cannot drop it like this, but you have to drop it like this because we are investigating about streamlined shapes. Okay, so I'm going to reset my timer and the last shape that I'm going to drop is the cone okay so let's start okay so this actually took me about one second and 30 milliseconds okay so i've investigated all my shapes and now i've come to the conclusion that actually the cone fell the fastest through the water because it was the most streamlined okay whereas the cube actually fell the slowest because it was the least streamlined okay so this helps us understand that the more the shape is streamlined the less time it takes to fall through the water it offers the least water resistance okay so this also uh, this helps us with our investigation on forces about water resistance okay and about streamlined shapes as well that the more tapering a shape is the fastest it can move through water okay that was our investigation and well done to everybody who are doing the home learning at home okay carry on with the home learning and i'll see you soon bye bye